Hello everyone, I'm Bhavak Pujara and I'm a verified educator at an academy. I teach quantitative aptitude for CAT and I scored a 98.3 percentile in my CAT exam 2015 and I'm a current student at MDI Gurgaon 2018 batch. Now this video is on profit and loss which is a very important concept uh, in terms of uh, quantitative aptitude in CAT. Here we're going to discuss some basic terms like profit loss, what is, what is selling price, what is cost price, what is the relationship between uh, selling price, cost price and the mark price. I hope you like this lesson and if you have any suggestions just let me know. Happy learning. Good luck. So let's start with the basic terminologies in profit and loss. The first one is the cost price. It is the price at which a company or a person buys a product. So for example, if you're running a company and you are buying some products, some uh, raw materials maybe uh, from, from your vendor, then the cost price is the price that, uh, that is the price that is incurred by you to buy that product and you want to sell this further, making some profit. A selling price is going to be the price at which you sell uh, that product. So for example, I bought a product at 50 rupees uh, from a vendor and I want to make a profit uh, out of it, say of 20 rupees. So I'll, I'm going to send it for like 70 rupees. So 50 rupees is going to be the cost price. That is uh, the price that is costing me and the product uh, is costing me 50 rupees and I'm going to sell it at 70 rupees. So selling price is the price that I'm selling it further at. Then mark price is the price at which the company marks a product. So you must be aware of the fact of discount. That is something we're going to come later. Uh, there's this concept called uh, MRP, which is a maximum retail price, for instance. And for example, taking the same example, 50 rupees is the uh, cost of a product to me. 70 rupees is what I sell for, but I mark it at 100 rupees because I know that, for example, in Indian market, if I earn, uh, if if I own a product, say uh, that belongs. Uh, to a wider category uh, and I know that any customer who would come into my shop would ask for a discount just out of say uh, as a loyalty thing or maybe because I have good relationships with him or her or maybe I want to attract that customer so I'm going to give that discount but I'm very sure that I cannot sell this product for lesser than 70 rupees so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this product at 100 rupees and I'm going to, and I'm going to say just because you know you're a good customer or I'm running some uh, schemes right now I'm giving a discount of say 30 percent so 30% on the mark price uh, will, will be the discount and uh, I'll be selling it uh, eventually at 70 rupees. So discount is usually given on MP as we are discussing here and uh, selling price is the price I eventually sell it at. Then if the discount is given, then mark price is not equal to selling price because I'm giving, giving a discount on my mark price. If the discount is not given and I'm selling the uh, commodity, I'm selling the product at the same price uh, as the mark price and uh, it is the same as selling price. Then what is profit? Now if a product is sold at a price higher than its cost price, I'm making a profit. So for instance, if I buy this product for myself for 50 rupees and I'm selling it at 70 rupees, taking the same example, so I'm making a profit of 20 rupees and uh, just because uh, SP minus CP is a positive number, that is 70 minus 50 is a positive number, that is 20, 20 is my profit. And if not, and if say the market is not doing really well and I just want to get rid of uh, the redundant uh, products that I have that are not in fashion per se or uh, you know people are not really attracted to that uh, product but I still just want to sell it off just because it's uh, occupying my shelf space or something like that so I uh, make it a loss on it and I just sell it off. So when a product is sold at a price lower than its cost price and uh, in that case I'm making a loss. So for example I buy the product for myself at 50 rupees, I wait for it uh, for it uh, to get sold for some time, but the customers are not not just liking my product at all. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, let's let me just sell it off for 40 rupees or 30 rupees. Let me just take as much as I can from the customer, so as to uh, you know compensate for the cost price uh, that I bought this product for. So I'm gonna sell it at a lower price than the cost price. So it's I'm gonna make a loss. So if I'm going if I'm selling that product for 30 rupees, I'm making a loss of 20 rupees on that product. So profit is when selling price is greater than cost price and loss is when selling price is less than the cost price. Now what is markup? Now amount by which the cost price is increased so as uh, to make it a mark price. So for example, uh, 50 rupees is the uh, price at which I, is, is the cost of that product to me and I mark it up uh, by 50 rupees. So the markup is of 50 rupees and ultimately the marked price is 100 rupees. So the markup is what? 50 rupees. And the markdown amount by which the CP is decreased to come to a marked price. So I bought the product at 50 rupees, but immediately when I bought this product, I, I realized that this is not going to be sold in the market uh, I'm working in. 
and uh, I'm doing my business in so I mark it down I say okay instead of 50 rupees or, or say 100 rupees I'm marking it down and I'm selling it for 40, 40 rupees so 40 rupees becomes my mark price and what is this count amount by which the mark price is reduced to come to a selling price is uh, what discount is now I have a mind map made in the next slide we're gonna to come to that later that is gonna make all the concepts clear to you all these terminologies are defined there so discount is used to attract customers to buy a product it is always given on mark price never on the selling price selling price is actually the price at which you're selling the product so you cannot give a discount on the selling price it is the ultimate money that you collect from the customer and mark price is what you tell the customer for what uh, you know the product is for but you can work on that you can negotiate on that so this is something uh, how the mind map will look like. We'll come to that. Now, what is profit or loss percentage? Let's discuss that first. Now, profit or loss percentage is profit upon CP into 100. Profit is, uh, profit is whatever I have gained. So profit percentage would be profit upon CP into 100. And loss percentage would be loss upon CP into 100. Just be very wary of the fact that in the base, in the denominator, it's always CP, not SP. People make mistakes sometimes. They divide profit by SP. And the calculate profit percentage is in all the case it uh, always has to be the cost price now let's uh, come to this mind map all the concepts all the terminologies that we are discussing here is uh, terminology that I mentioned here this is the cost price at which I'm buying the product for myself I mark it up positive or I mark it down whatever I do I come to the marked price then I give a discount on the marked price I come to the selling price and whatever the difference between the selling price and the cost price is, is my profit or my loss I repeat again this is the cost price for, for which I buy the product. I mark it up or I mark it down based on the market. And I come to a marked price. Then a customer comes to me uh, and says, I want some discount. So I'll work on this marked price and I, I'll give the discount to that customer. So discount is happening on the marked price. Then I come to the selling price at which I finally sell my product at. And the difference between CP and SP gives me the profit or the loss. Let's look at uh, an example. A man purchases a pen for 100 rupees and marks up by 20%. He finally sells the pen at 10% discount. What is the selling price of this pen and profit or loss percentage? So the cost price of the pen is 100 rupees. The markup is 20%. So markup always happens on the cost price. So markup is of 20 rupees. That's my mark price would be cost price plus the markup price, which is equal to 100 plus 20 equals to 120. Now I give a discount of 10%. Now discount as I know always happens is always given on the mark price. I give a discount of 10%. So um, mark price 10% of my mark price is 12 rupees. This is the discount I give. I subtract uh, this 12 rupees from my mark price. So 120 minus 12, which gives me 108. So I'm eventually selling my pen at 108 rupees, 108 rupees. So my cost price is 100 rupees. My mark price is 120 rupees. And I, my selling price is 108 rupees. So this is what the map looks like. I buy it at 100, I mark it up by 20%, that is 20 rupees. My markup, markup price is 120 rupees, I give a discount of 10%, which is 12 rupees discount. I sell it off at 108 rupees. So I make a profit because my selling price is greater than my cost price, or so I make a profit of 8%, That is, uh, which is because 108 minus 100 is eight upon 100 into 100 will give me 8%. So this is uh, what my solution will look like. I hope you like this video. If you have any suggestions, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply back to you. Thank you so much for watching this video.